Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. How are you doing? Let me know. Um, I hope you're having a nice Christmas, if that is what you've chosen to celebrate in one way, shape, form or another, whatever you believe in, however you have created this for yourself. It's really also, I think, a question of what we make it, as it is for so many things in life. So I just really relaxed. I was thinking about doing an update yesterday but then um i was just shown to just fully let go just relax um because it's been a very very busy two weeks and then some four 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 so at the end of every um manifestation we just fully let go for the highest quantum possibilities to manifest in the field uh, and the sine waves quantum wave function of the false matrix reality to fully dissolve collapse in the field which spiritually this is energetically all here so what i'm seeing is thank you again and what i was also busy with is obviously with the field um and we finished the activation from the 22nd of the starborn reborn and um yeah, that was very powerful integration of um, also clearing any remaining negative thought forms, belief systems, all that doesn't serve us anymore, storylines, all um, to really fully just let go, emptying ourselves to let the new truth arise from within us, ignited through the frequency of true divine love, which is ultimately our body and consciousness free of fear. So the eternal cosmic spirit body, the dark matter Russia body has been fully reset. The re-encryption is fully completing and the clearing of all of the ne negative demonic entities us cleaning up the ship, the decks fully. And we are not waiting for the new year to start anything anew. The cosmic dragons do not wait for the new Chinese new year uh, to rise. Okay. It only ever happens in a now moment. If I repeat myself, it's out of love because this is us rewiring our own brain. This is neuroplasticity. You need to recreate all neural new neural pathways. This is why you often have to go through the same experience, similar or same experiences with the same soul themes. Um, you know what you're here to learn again and again like in Groundhog Day, until we have created these new ways of being, which happens through us thinking new thoughts. So this is all about thinking new thoughts, believing new beliefs, uh, because that's what creates a new reality, because reality is based on our deepest held beliefs and expectations, what we believe to be really true and real. So there's a lot of DMT being released, a lot of crystalline multidimensional light body activations as all remaining interference patterns in all ways, shapes and forms of all layers, levels and dimensional frequency bandwidths of source are being fully removed, literally through the frequency of true divine law, fully returning. What that really means. So true divine law is the revelation True disclosure, and it's here now. It's oneness, it's singularity. Us remembering as one, fully rebirthing as one, rebooting the one cosmic Christ, heart, mind, body, and soul, as our hearts spark fully alive. So as I made a little joke in my previous group calls, and you can access them if you like, they're really powerful uh, beneath in the description box. The replays are as powerful as the life activations, truly. Uh, because it's all very much quantum. And that's the same as what we talk about. Visions we've received, the messages we know to be true. Real truth is timeless. So the core truths are ultimately very simple, as well as the whole great, great complexity. And yeah, this is all about repetition. This is all about perseverance. This is all about trusting, blind faith, and us walking by faith, not by sight. So what we see inside and now us fully dissolving, this is done, okay? The false matrix overlays. But just letting go of these last remaining thought forms, storylines of the old fully, completely, as this mind reset, mind wipe is fully completing in this now moment. So I was making the joke in my previous group calls 
about the Christ child is a little bit stuck in the birth canal as well as I know we are on target, but there's definitely been a lot of like up in the air, up in the quantum field, things like waiting for everything to fall into place. Like it's almost like a suspended feeling whilst pieces are moving. It's like everybody has to get into position, all the key players. Because it's like we're waiting for people to make decisions for, because we're all quantum entangled, to complete the cosmic drama, so to say, to bring everything back into true alignment, to bring the true divine counterparts, pairs, twin flames back together, the tribes back together fully, the cosmic tribe, the one cosmic family, the holy trinity, the holy grail fully returned through us, Usunaki Yashi. So thank you so much for those that were part of this very powerful like five hour call from the 22nd. If people still want to access that, again, it's very powerful, over an hour, 11 minutes long uh, activation of us fully rebirthing the one through the cosmic mother's womb. So it's all here. And what I see, I am predicting, foreseeing for the next seven days is all new realities to come fully online, very visibly. The blind will see again. Healing miracles are happening everywhere. It will be beautiful. Everybody remembering the oneness as the shift in consciousness fully completes the full awakening. Think big, imagine big, imagine the full collective awakening completing right now. That's the only time it's ever going to happen. Usu Shanati. And every now moment you decide again and again who you want to be, especially now as all of the karmic shit, all of the stuff, all of these limiting thought forms, belief systems, programming is being fully cleared um, from the field, which had us recreating the same scenarios again and again. So it's been very confusing with all these kind of thought forms clearing and you're kind of going forth and back because you're also holding the tri-wave now, the zero point field. We are embodying the trinity wave of the primal sound and light fields, the threefold founder flame, which is the three in the one, the holy trinity, overriding all the bipolar reversals in the field, in our body, in the grids, in our consciousness, the inversions of truth. It's what a reversal really is. And that then expresses itself within our DNA. Now there are many layers and I will do this. We have talked about this plenty, not gonna go into this now. If you like to look back on any of the group calls, also if you uh, access the tier two of my membership container, the link is in the description box also. You literally can view back uh, in the list all the replays since August, all the activations, all the replays for 144 euros. Um, anyway, which is very good value for money. So that will keep you busy if you're bored. But right now it's really all about being as well as, so I'm being shown, because again, I could, you know, everything has been suspended uh, in the field. It's like as if um, things are a little bit delayed, as well as we've just fully anchored this being in three states at the one time. So you holding the Trinity, the tri-wave, embodying the Holy Grail, is you... Uh, seeing the polarities from within the zero point field, from within neutrality, divine love, and oneness. Total radical neutrality, accepting everything as it is right now, will allow everything to collapse. This is the place the you hold in the zero point field of the Godhead, that's the consciousness of the Godhead. You're seeing everything from both, both perspectives to both end, and from the neutrality. And you can still have your perspective. Just hold on to it very lightly. And right now, I would just keep saying, like, just keep clearing your field. Any preconce preconceived ideas, belief systems, especially history, because this is all fallen, inverted history that the victors wrote, okay? This is not the truth. This is not what we're remembering right now. So you need to, like, fully go empty yourself and let love make you everything, literally. Let it all go. And one way or another, our hearts are being going to blast wide open. That's all I can see. 
So full surrender to source, literally, yeah, I'm yours. Thank God, make do with me whatever you want, so to say. Now, I'm being shown we're going to give this one last push. Now, another gift from me to you, all those who are in alignment with this and feel truly called to change makers um, who are here to make the magic happen with me. So for the full moon in Cancer, and I'm usually not a fan of full moons, but this one um, is interesting. So Cancer is also my star sign as well as I'm not giving too much, you know, um, attention to that as well as I know it's all symbolic. I read whatever I see and being shown. We all read our realities the way we are being shown. And each time you trust your intuition over your mind overwriting it, you heal your blueprint. This is why it's so important to listen to your intuition. That's you listening to God, you repairing your morphogenetic field, literally. So, um, and now we're bringing it into full alignment. So anyway, I've been shown for the full moon in Cancer. It's at 12.33 a.m. on the 27th in Irish time. And um, that's also a free, free, free code. code. So just after midnight, half an hour after midnight. So we will connect remotely, energetically for one hour. Those that feel called, your intention to take part is enough. If you can't do it during that time, and please do an internet search, what time is the full moon going exact in your location? It's quite easy, okay? So I just know it's 12.33 a.m. Irish standard time. Uh, and then for one hour, and I'll probably stay in the field a bit longer, as I often do, um, we will connect energetically, so remotely, like distance healing, okay? I hold the field, it's already open, it's secured, it's held in the highest light and integrity, highest purity, and only those with pure hearts, minds, intention are going to be allowed to partake and reap the benefits. No messing allowed, okay? It's not going to happen. Um so we have the highest support, cosmic mother and father of God, all the beings of light in alignment with the law, with the law of one, Christa families, Aurora families, all of our Agathans, ancient ones, mer people, lion people, Agathan, um, how would you say that? <laughs> the face, the fairies, the elves, okay, all of our magical kingdoms, the magical kingdom of Albion, New Earth realities fully ignited through our multidimensional integration process, fully complete now. Usunate. And we have rebirthed all of this already. So let the last memories of this false reality, this false matrix simulation, be taken fully offline with this activation. If you want to listen to something, if you, you know, I mean, you can do whatever you want, just be in silence. Um, I mean, dance talk light language, do whatever you feel guided to during that time and flows through you. There's no right or wrong. You can also listen to one of my activations if you want to listen listen to something. Um, you can check out my SoundCloud uh, link. I might pick out one or two that might be um, especially useful for this one. And we're not so much concentrating on this moon. This is for part of the false firmament. Okay, that's fully dissolving right now, the memory of that. Also, we are preventing any fuckery happening during full moon time because I'm being shown this is also preventative measure for those who are trying to have some last moment of wanting to interfere with us walking all the way home, hand in hand, all as one. So the bullies on a playground are being evicted fully completely. This is the return, full return of the sun king the son of god the true divine masculine true divine feminine they're both one the holy trinity the holy family the cosmic mother father child cosmic mother and father of dragons fully returned the true solar aspects this moon is not real it's just some little false satellite up there just imagine it to be in a light ship and just buzz off or just disappear anyway what i see new earth has two suns and two crystal moons. It's not that one. Because it's looking at me. Not that I'm, I'm very neutral about it, as well as I'm not a fan. It's the both end. Because I know it's been used as a mind control, uh, you know, negative technology. It's a dead satellite. It's not a real organic planet. Anyway, we're not going to focus on that, which is wrong. We just, okay. But we know that these 
energies are very potent. I just noticed symbology. Cancer is also the sign of the mother. This is the cosmic mother fully clearing up ship. She is rebirthing all as one timelessly. Again, this is all timeless as well as this is completing now. Miracles are happening, <laughs> supernatural style, before the end of the year for sure. That's my prediction. I'm feeling very confident. It's a knowing. Again, take what resonates, leave the rest. So if you want to take part for an hour, tune into the field. If you can't take part during that time, do it for another hour during the day. It's timeless. Okay, try to do it during that day or within the 24 hours before and after. If you can, when you have, you know, can just relax and really tune in, as well as you will just receive whatever you're supposed to receive. Also, you can make intentions, what you would like to receive, especially maybe for your own healing or for those you are connected with. But again, you know, I mean, we're all healing as one, resetting as one. I mean, this is, <laughs> I was talking about autopilot in this last group call. And, um, you know, before we are on autopilot under the mind control, this kind of goat brain that goes on within the collective until we wake up. And then it's like, you know, we're going through all kinds of stuff, kind of we're regaining really what free will means as we're really becoming conscious of how we're even creating and what's really going on here, which takes so <laughs> many different layers and levels to that one. Uh, because that's us integrating multidimensional reality and our multidimensional selves. And also remember that literally is no time. All of these parallel selves that we're integrating as multidimensional as part of the multidimensional integration, like this is here now. I can see my multidimensional Diane Avatar self. It's online. Our crystal body is coming online. Crystal activation. It's, it's once the body is free of fear, it's ultimately filled with love. And that's what they didn't want, obviously. Um, and that's, you know, your body fully activating, fully healing itself, fully returning to its true divine state of um, cosmic God source consciousness, where you are at one with everything. There's nothing to be afraid of. From paranoia, we uh, turn to a state of pronoia, where everything is working for us, which is our, again, natural state of beingness. Once the oneness is remembered through everyone, the true revelation, us remembering we are one, have always created this as one. It's our deepest held beliefs and expectations, which are being fully reset as we reconnect with the Godhead, which we've been busy doing with all of the exercises. And ultimately us healing and transmuting the collective shadow body and pain body. So this is the end of pain, the end of suffering. So this activation is again, a remote activation, just tune in through intent, the field is very intelligent, as always. It's very powerful. Again, everybody receives what they're able to. Um, it's clearing, healing, activating, upgrading your morphogenetic field, aligning that with that of the cosmic Christ. And um, yeah, it will activate, fully ignite our new earth realities, as well as, again, uh, prevent any fuckery in the field from happening, which um, I've been shown they're trying to do as usual also anyway. You know, full moons, this time of year and where we're at. So it's like, you know, last ditch attempts um, that have been shown in the field, you know, are kind of holding back. It's ultimately our fears playing out. You know, we are imagining all of this. You need to remember, this is a holographic simulation we are the creator, we are the architect, we always have been. So when we fully no longer blame anything outside of us, not even God, for having created this or where we are in life and fully take ownership, responsibility, again, it's not about blame. So all of these false programs fully are being transcended as the real truth arises from within each one of us, the crystalline core fully igniting, the spark within our heart bursting wide open through the power of true divine love. Uh, and that's just arising from within us. So literally, um, you know, the truth is coming out. We will literally know if somebody will be lying going forward. I mean, we already do. Uh, if anyone would try to betray us, that kind of thing. Um, we could feel one another's feelings, again, which we already can do. Um, but, you know, you would know if you hurt someone. Um, and everything now, as 
the distortion of time and the delay in karma, true karma playing out, is now ending. Everything we've given out comes back to us. Nobody's been left behind. Every soul, every body, every heart, mind, and that of the cosmos has been fully reset, rebooted, rebirthed timelessly as the consciousness fully shifts. Usukara, Tinaki Eya, and those without soul are returning to source ultimately. All these shadow gestalts, all these demonic beings, their negative thought forms. As we let them go, they return to source. Okay, again, we can only do this as we purge them. Just feel it, just let it go. And clarity, true clarity, fully returns now. Where I could see it's like you run two parallel realities. So one is the old and one is the new. And it's like literally as if you have like Jekyll and Hyde inside of you. It's like, no, yes, nah. So yeah, it's always fun. Uh, and after the activation tour was beautiful because for most of the day after, well, the earlier part, I was just in a state of being everything, being nothing, pure photonic light, just at one with the whole cosmic, everything dissolving, and obviously everything that's in the way from that state clearing, as well as everything in between. Um, but yeah, just a lot of confusion and like the heart closed, where you know, like these last ice walls are fully melting and it doesn't matter, you just have to surrender to love because that's you surrendering to source, quite frank frankly. It's your heart always new. It's just the mind has been overwrite in the heart so often. And every time that happens, you take your you know, you take yourself away from your true self, you lie to yourself, you're not in alignment with your true self, and you kind of, you know, reverse your blueprint. And every time you trust yourself, your heart's guidance, your inner knowing intuition, it's usually the first thing that comes into mind. As you keep doing this, no matter how crazy it seems to your mind, you keep healing your blueprint and activate your multidimensional DNA. I've done many crazy things, especially when they are against our, like, programming. And I still do them because I don't I don't do rules. I just really don't. I operate under different laws. And we are sustained by source. Pure source light is Sanakiyate. And that's what we're returning to. Pure plasma liquid liquid light, pure photonic light. You can turn into everything. You are everything. Only from that state of consciousness can you fully activate and claim your superpower. So this is the 15 dimensional blueprint coming fully online, 15 dimensional realities, divine creatrix field, fully rebirthed through the cosmic mother, through us all as one. The original being, it's already done in the field. That was That's what the activation was about. I can highly recommend it. It's worth every cent. Now, this activation, the remote activation for the Cancer Full Moon on the 27th, for many, it might be on the 26th. Um, to fully bring this into the physical, so what I will see over the next seven days, this will all become very physicalized. Um, so this is a present for me to you. Obviously, at any point, if you like to support me with a donation, thank you so much for all your support throughout the year, throughout the years, through liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting helping me also to share my work and assist other people um, because it truly is all an activation and it helps us all to clear, heal, balance, harmonize and upgrade and activate the cosmic Christ blueprint further. So this is the androgynous blueprint. This is the diamond white ank body, the eternal cosmic spirit body coming fully online. Our multidimensional travel vehicle, our Christ and Macabre, that of the planet, the diamond sun body coming fully online. That's the return of the sun god, the son of God. The two suns shine as one again, the divine masculine feminine that truly are one. It's like you are either man or woman or child, um, as well as you're all three of them because you're fully balanced within that wholeness, the holy family. Again, the family is at the core of every society. This is why, you know, it, it has broken apart. And I mean, this is where we heal society. So as we heal the family, which we heal inside each one of us, which is now here through the, through the uh, Divine Hierogamic Reunion process we've been talking about so long. It's really part of the multidimensional integration, bringing all of your pieces, all of your fragments, all of your multidimensional selves, fully merged as one for all of our experiences throughout time and space. And now we can all come to, back together again. This is our party, our fireworks, the celebration, the victory is here. Fully ignited from within, 
Many of us have seen the signs of things shifting, but this is now where this becomes really, really real. Loads of DMT is going to be, re be released. I'm going to deep dive into the field. I'm going, I'm declaring our lifelong holiday starts here now. And I'm going to take a little holiday hiatus, so to say, I believe, um, at least on this visible level. Um, besides the remote activation, again, I'm offering to each um, willing, pure, intended heart mind who wants to join the field and make this a reality, okay? And send all the negative little thought forms and belief systems all the way back home together with all the demonic beings, archons, this, this false reality overlays, false firmament. It's just sine waves. Okay, this is a quantum wave function simulation. So again, read the post that came with this uh, right at the bottom. Uh, it says the time again, just to remind you, but it's at the full moon time. That's when we start and then go for an hour minimum. And then we just let go, fully go, okay? Fully go. You need to let fully go. This is all about surrender, non-resistance, accepting everything as it is right now, free of judgment. Just let it all go. This is what's going to collapse it into the highest quantum possibilities, as well as some people need to make jumps and deeps. And I mean, we all need to make decisions. Doors will be opening, opportunities. This will be, I think, a very interesting um, or new beginning. So this is us repainting the canvas. Okay. So just follow your joy. You know, especially if you have maybe time off, just what would you do if you, you know, whatever you have available now to align yourself with your greatest joy? Because this is coming back now. So where before we couldn't be the person we knew you were, we were deep within you know it's like fighting against yourself again Jekyll and Hyde a little bit there's more to this as well which I actually talked about it's uh, the Indigo 3 uh, blueprint that I believe we all have where you kind of literally you know it's part of the integrating shadow and light literally so as the distorted polarities of shadow and light good and bad I allow ourselves fully collapses as we fully merge this as one within the neutrality of divine love and oneness and neutrality Okay, the try way fully embodied, these concepts fully fall apart. So all the dogmatism, all the um, judgments, opinions, these ego beliefs that have kept us apart literally and have divided us fully as we lose the resistance. You know, for example, Christmas, I was talking to a few people or the feedback also so far I've received was um it's been much more uh, peaceful. I mean, people also, because we are embodying our new true self, come to peace within. And then whether we take part in family celebrations or not, or in a limited version way, um, you know, that suits us. Um, ultimately, that lets us be true to ourselves. That's the important thing. But, you know, when you're in your true self, you don't have resistance to your family, you know, and you can master any conversation that might come up, as well as as you don't carry resistance in your field, people will not attack you. You know what I mean? So to say. Um, because again, you're just playing out ultimately your deepest self beliefs and expectations of the people around you. Ultimately, you hold it all in your DNA. They're all aspects of you. So as you come to peace with yourself, you will see more and more peace arise around you. Or people just drop out of your field, you know, depending, like many moving pieces. But ultimately, this is like, where do we heal then the family? We, we heal it in our immediate environment, so to say, or sort it out. Because, yeah, these are karmic families we've been born into, so to say. Or rather, the birth transaction, transaction, the birth transaction record connected to the eight fetal cells that lie at the bottom of our coccyx that hold our birth record, so to say. You know, we were born into... A system, a uh, reality where the planets are not where they're supposed to be, you know, cataclysmic event happened, happens, happened. And we now forget about them. But you know what I mean? Like, this is um, basically us being placed in the wrong timelines. And that's also why the twin flames kind of can't get to one another until the end, until they fully ascend, the original pairs, because they do all the timeline repair again us all are part of these blueprints and templates but they have very special mission work in literally healing uh the rip in time the rip in dimensions the rip in uh you know the milky way the andromeda galaxy um haven't been ripped apart 
unifying all. So this is where the stars align, the galaxies align, the uh, universe aligns, our central column fully cleared, ready to fully anchor the final blast of ignition, the mother arc ray anchoring through the Godhead all the way through the stargates into the crystalline core, fully igniting the diamond rainbow, plasma light body, ours, that of the planet, light ship earth, full lift off, blast off, okay? Let's make it so. Usu shanate tukuru, tukuru, tuka aishanate kinate. So again, join me if you like to for the full moon. Let's um, ignite this light ship, our light ship, our crystal body, our crystal consciousness, crystal clarity, all of our gifts, all of our abilities, all of our power, fully reclaimed, fully returned, all of our body parts, our consciousness, our keys and our codes, our jewels. This was also a big part of the activation, so our abundance is fully here now, okay? I've even had someone who's part also of my membership container and, um, you know, took part in the activation and um, just before she actually was given some real jewels, uh, which were beautiful. So I said to her, thank you so much for ex accepting that gift of abundance. And again, they will just turn up one way or another. And it's not about jewels as such. It's about the abundance generally. And again, what we're accessing is beyond money. It's infinite abundance. Your gifts, your abilities, your superpowers, they are the true abundance, okay? Limitless travel, limitless creation, but together as one, not just as a, some little demigod, okay? So we all have different gifts, abilities, and together with our soul tribe family that we magnetize towards us as we are in full alignment with our true self in true divine frequency alignment, which is fully here now, Asuna <laughs> That's when everything aligns and we come together with our soul tribes, our true beloveds. I believe it's all here now. You know, it's um, all about divine timing. So let me finish this. I've got more to share, but I think I want to finish it now. So let fully go, enjoy the ride. The multidimensional fun ride. Let's make this fun. The cosmic Christ child coming out fully rebirthing is you having fun with this reality, knowing that you are playing the video game. I was saying to a friend, his car broke down and he was driving his father's car. And anyway, I was basically, you know, he was a bit off. And <laughs> I was saying to him, remember, you're sitting at home on the sofa playing a video game and you're sitting in a car in the video game. So to have the you know, now we never forget again. And this was also like, if you feel sometimes you take a few steps back, especially lately, like I mentioned, um, like I basically, you know, kind of lost my cool when I had too many things like piling up after I was thinking, yeah, you're doing so great with everything that was going on for like two weeks. And then it finally got me <laughs> ah, with everything piling up. And then you feel like you're in a, you know, you're having a bad day in the video game. And it's like very simple steps you're doing wrong and it's like as if you like you know never played a game before and you're like how can I you know uh take like 10 steps 10 steps back but what was shown to me also is that then you really really remember those steps that one day where everything goes shit it's like okay I will never ever do this again it's like something clicks in your multidimensional blueprint in your consciousness and it's just it really sits even if it was the hundredth time doesn't matter okay this is about your intention. This is not about being perfect. We will never be perfect. We will never be finished as such. As such. Like in future, instead of deep healing, shallow work, and all of that stuff that we're really done with, the heavy lifting. Um, and also so much crystal activations. I literally had like so much itches earlier on. <laughs> Starting again. Ah. Um, what did I want to say? No, I forgot. So the mind wiping is going ahead as planned. We don't need those memories, okay? We're remembering only what was I saying. So crystalline consciousness means crystalline body, okay? God source consciousness, just truly surrender. And repetition, perseverance, blind faith and trust are absolutely 100% imperative for our success, which it was, which is here now. 
fully claimless, the cosmic dragons fully rise in your power, knowing that you are the creator of reality, that this is a dream. So this is now where we come, the full masters of the dream. It's like you're in a dream and you remember your lucid dreaming. And now you take mastery of the dream. Again, it's not control because we're all quantum entangled. This is why it's so important to remember your accountability, responsibility, that everything we do, don't do, affects one another, okay? This is why it's so important to rise fully right now. I know it's here. There's only now, okay? So as we remember the real truth, the false is overwritten, okay? And it's fucking done. So I have another quote or two. Oh, yeah. So you need to be quite ruthless. Um, a quote is, cosmic love is absolutely ruthless and highly indifferent. It teaches its lessons, whether you like, dislike them or not. John C. Lilly. Um, I do have to agree with that, where you need to be in a total neutral observer state because you're the creator and the destroyer. You literally got source consciousness working at very high levels of a Senate master self. You're fully at one with the God self. You're sorting this reality out. You're, you're sending all the bad negative entities all the way back home, okay? This is what dark arts training is. It's like you clearing out the astral layers and levels and so forth. So health is wealth. And as everything becomes possible, true health, um, again, is our bodies free of interference patterns, fears, okay? As law fully takes over, vitality is fully returning, well-being, ease, grace, the fight, fight, okay, fighting, flighting, freezing is over. Our nervous system, our heart fully healing, our mind fully resetting, all new beginnings are here. We're going to paint all new landscapes, okay? And regeneration, rejuvenation, just really look after yourself, treat yourself like the king, the queen that you are, and just, just keep following your intuition from one now moment to the next. Literally, I've been so anchored in the now moment. You feel, you flow with the energies. This is when synchronicity comes. Again, I shared more about multidimensional living in those five hours we spent in that group call. If you want to access that, the link is below. Um, and we need to believe in the impossible to make it possible. This is literally what we came here for. It's most about redreaming the dream as well as merging the spiritual with the physical, mental, etheric, emotion, um, mental, emotional, physically, spiritual, all of your multidimensional selves but this is <laughs> <laughs> literally that's the point yeah by the last remaining throat fully clears the blue ray all the rays sound and light fields that we emit through our auric field which is literally what heals okay so you heal through your auric field <laughs> we emit sound and light fields we have very unique keys and codes. This is all about remembering. You know, it's the same as God. He was um, Joshua. He was not here to just be a God-like like figure. He was here to merge, you know, be the example of being your unique self, still having flaws, not being perfect, and being, you know, God consciousness embodied and what that really means. And he was, you know, called a heretic at the time. And people were, you know, obviously you know, crucifying him for his beliefs and what he stood for, which was against what people believed in at the time. Again, visionaries uh, ahead of their time. You need to keep going. You know, anyone who's ever been successful keeps going and going and going. And you do it again and again and again until you're successful and you keep fine-tuning and you keep up-leveling and you keep reclaiming your power and your confidence in yourself. And when you truly believe, I mean, who's the one dreaming anyway? Oh, yeah, what I wanted to say. So before we were like on autopilot, you know, in a sense of mind control, then you wake up, reclaim your autonomy, your consciousness, making the unconscious conscious, which is what this is all about. Literally the shadow body integration merging to then now run on autopilot in the God sense. Like I ultimately run on autopilot in a way. I mean, who's the one who makes a decision anyway? Even if you think about a decision, the one who's constantly wondering who's making that decision or rather it's again the Jekyll and Hyde thing it's your higher self and your lower self usually you know having an argument or it could be several of you again multidimensional integration is literally you know it's like 
you multidimensional know, personality fully in order where you can bring all these aspects in until they're fully aligned and your heart and mind ultimately are aligned and in agreement. But again, your heart needs to lead because it knows things that your mind will only catch up on later. And your mind is a receiver and transmitter, okay? So, but your heart truly has quantum wisdom and access. So trust it, do the crazy stuff. Trust your intuition, your guidance, your heart, soul, God speaking through you. Okay, that's all I do. I literally just do mostly automatic reading. The only time I really have kind of like notes I read off from is during the cosmic energy updates just because I want to bring in everything that I've been kind of making note of or at least some of it uh, over, you know, the time kind of that I'm making notes. And whatever I'm being shown so I don't forget too much and go off on too many tangents and forget too many things that I want to say. So sometimes too. So be okay with that. Let fully go again. Okay, just to know mind. It's so beautiful when we get into the States and I saw again, ah, oh, it's going to be so lovely um, where it's literally just beingness. Okay, cosmic consciousness. You just know things. It just flows through you. Again, you're just a transmitter receiver. It's in full alignment. It feels good as well as, you know, harsh truths can maybe sometimes create like a shock to our systems. But ultimately, when you're in neutrality and have fully transcended all of your judgments, resistance in your field, which is what keeps the lower timelines alive, keeps feeding them, because resistance is fear in your field. Okay, if you fully let go, that can collapse already. So keep loving it all up. See beyond the veils to make the invisible visible. As we know that it is the real reality we carry inside of our hearts and true memories now fully returning, arising through us, remembered, literally written into our multidimensional DNA, the ancient future long forgotten that is free of all of this fallen madness, all of the inversions. We are fully aligned with our new divine blueprint. Okay, it's all new, as well as it's the best from all timelines, all realities, all realms, all universes, all dimensions, all of our multidimensional selves fully merged as one, consciousness no longer fragmented held in different space places throughout time and space and our cosmic family fully reunited i know they're here now any moment now we're fully celebrating around the campfire it's already here oh yeah so i've been shown it's literally been like the last three days since the activation on the 22nd uh, as if we're kind of running two realities parallel realities beyond just the higher and lower self or jack and hyde uh, kind of arguing it's more like um you're kind of in an old reality still running kind of old thought forms again this old matrix where the new one you're already fully in this parallel reality of new earth which is here now that's the thing it's all just thought forms okay remember it's a quantum stunning wave function this has been fully collapsed it's done just let it fully go whatever you think it's this is not about time this is why i keep repeating it so it's fully burned into so to say the neuroplasticity taking over this is the planetary brain like rewiring i've been working on this very consciously over the last three years of all the work i'm doing like literally the reprogramming the re rewiring rewiring re-encryption of i mean everything but especially the planetary mind the consciousness again it's many things all of these aspects are being addressed energetically, mentally, emotionally, and the physical is the last. Again, this is ultimately us right now, fully letting go of any negative toxic thought forms that have created toxic realities. I'm telling you, your, your body can be as clean as you think, like it, you know, physically like going through fasts or cleanses or whatever. Uh, if you have negative toxic thought forms running, you're still riddled, riddled so to say, with parasites but they are like all the spiritual pas parasites all the ai uh nanotech nanodust nano um bots all of the artificial overlays imprints inserts it's fully it's like it's like the dark rainbow bridge to the fallen um the fallen tree of life fully dissolving and kind of any kind of portals to what also because they have created like a kind of ai version of a heaven and that's going fully kaput <laughs> and okay remember it's thought forms belief systems as well as we have been busy dismantling the architecture dismantling 
the architecture, but again, ultimately, these are thought bombs. What it comes down to, what you believe to be true. Stop feeding the false, feed the new, all new is here now, okay? So fully letting go of all remaining negative inverted thought bombs, belief systems, any remaining interference patterns. So we make the invisible visible, the impossible possible. That's actually what we came here for. If not us, then who? And if not now, then when? Actually, we're not waiting for any new anything year. Like it's always now. So it will just happen through us. Okay. As well as let's make it happen. Uh, let's drop deep into the field. Um, again, join me for the full moon if you like. In the quantum field for this remote activation, just open yourself up during that time. Again, you can listen to one of my activations, listen just to music, silence, whatever you feel guided to do. Just be as relaxed and open as possible. This will be quite powerful. I can go quite deep and I kind of don't need to speak into a camera and speak, you know, and just can go deep into the dream field. And again, this is well and truly alive. This is also about us strengthening the telepathic connection. We did an activation, like I was also wondering whether I would just do this again for the membership container because we did this early on in the month and it was very powerful. Uh, but I was guided to offer this to everyone as a gift again, from my heart to yours, to all of humanity, to all of the cosmos. So let's make this last push the baby out, okay? Remember, you deserve it all. You can have it all. But we need to, again, the dream only works when we pull together. Only with the teamwork. That's the dream work, okay? So now we fully claim this from deep within. Paint our realities in new and multidimensional rainbow colors. And fully rise in your true self. No longer afraid of what anyone thinks of you. No rejection, abandonment, uh, being ostracized, attacked. Like once you're fully at peace within yourself, the stuff doesn't even come up anymore. Because it only comes up to return you to your true power. Reclaim all of your multidimensional selves, your gifts, your abilities. Your fearless, limitless, timeless, eternal self. The one true eternal self, fully remembering itself as one. So it doesn't matter where you think anyone is. Keep shifting your perception of reality. See everything pristine, pristine lands, pristine earth, food, water, air, the elementals, fully rebirthing themselves, the new ones coming online, new realms, realities, sound and light fields being made fully visible through us. It's all here. Ignite, ignite, ignite. Keep calling forth more light. Keep letting go of the rest. Back to source. Like the bad dream that it was, now we awaken from it, okay? Now, a lot of DMT being released, go deep within, become the master of the lucid dream. Remember, okay? What is really real and bring it fully online. Asanate, kena skus kush, kre est, kit est, anakarate, kena tu, sonate. Now, let divine love take over and liberate and free us all. It's done. The sword was spoken and so it is. The end of all of our missions. The end of this false simulation, call it for. Remember, Usa tena kena so kudo shukuna yena, kena yena te kusu. So open up wide to the blessings being bestowed upon us now, okay? Massive. All right. Thank you. So much love, so many blessings. Bye bye bye.